Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Iowa taking on Wisconsin. All right, ready to get underway. And here is Ryan Roberts. The pitch. That's out to center field. Cruz on the move. And he makes the catch. One up, one down. Here's O'Neill Cruz. First offering misses the mark. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back. Swings and misses at one and one. That's inside. One down, base is empty. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The punch out there, and there's two away. And the batter now, Al Kaline. Swings through that one, 0-1. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball one there. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go to the bottom of the first. Now here is O'Neill Cruz. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And it's even up. Swing and a miss. The one two. Squibbed out in front of the plate. One gone bottom half of the first. Now here is Albert Pujols. Good contact guy, good defender. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering way off the plate. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Pujols, the base runner at first with one out. Strike two. I remember when all the eyes in baseball were on Brad as he chased the magic 400 mark in 1980. Didn't miss by much. Finished at 390. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. And now, Andrew McCutcheon. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The season Brad had in 80 was out of this world. Led the league in average, slugging, and OPS. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. And Brett was at the 400 mark with only a couple of weeks left in the 80 season. It looked like he was going to do it. Next pitch has popped up. Bellinger up to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Left-hand batter waits. Misses off the plate. Now 2-0. Left-hand hitter waits. Good eye right there. Pryor. One of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Green. Has this one sized up? Drops into the glove, and that's the inning. 
back here at the ballpark. Here's a big power threat. Giancarlo Stanton. Check swing. Went around. Going one. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And that's downstairs and outside. 1-2 now. And another ball. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force. And I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Bellinger right there to make the grab. Out number two. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. And a foul ball. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Just Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat, Craig Biggio. And the right hander back to work. And a swing and a miss there. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. K line gets under it, makes the catch, and there's one. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joe Maurer. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Line drive to short and caught. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is Roberto Clemente. And the first offering is not close. There's so much Clemente can do at the plate and in the field. Next offering is in for a strike. And the right hander deals. Swing and a ball popped up. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Here's a one two. And down on strikes he goes. Welcome back to the batter now, Noel V. Marte. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. About the only thing Clemente didn't have was elite speed, but the other four tools were as strong as anyone's in the game. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 2 now. Next offering is fouled back. The 0 2. And that one is lifted in the air. Clemente under it, puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. And now it's going to be Justin Morneau, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Top of the third, no score. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. And out of here. He'll circle the bases, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. And now Mark Pryor. Next pitch has popped up. Squeezes it. Two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Clemente racing over to make the catch. As we go to the last of the third, here's the pitcher, Randy Johnson. There's a strike. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Kicks and fires. 
Got him. And there's one down. So the batting order turns over. And stepping in is the speedy O'Neill Cruz. On the ground at first. And he's out on the tag. So digging in, Albert Pujols. This guy has turned into a beast. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Just missed. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Got him. Inning over. All set for the start of the inning. Now the number two hitter, O'Neill Cruz. And there's the strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. One and, one. and now the count is even. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Turned on, but foul wide of third. That one missed. The pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. The wind of the pitch. They say it went. Gathers and throws to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Stanton at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Next pitch misses way outside. And he deals. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. One and two now. And a swing and a miss. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Now, George Brett, Pryor, back to work. He was late there, strike one. Bounced out to short, Cruz picks it up, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swung out, belted. Deep. That one went back there, and that one's going to land not so much here, but here. That was a moonshot, and we're level. It's tied at one. Here's Cody Bellinger. K-line settles underneath it. And there's two down. So up next, Craig Biggio. Glide out his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. And ball one. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. The velocity. 
We go to the top of the fifth, stepping in the long ball threat, Riley Green. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Here's the 0-2. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one misses, and the count's even at two. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Marte takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. They say it went. One and one. And one and two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And that one handled. Fires over to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. And now, Justin Mordeaux. And that one wrapped foul. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. And here it comes. So now one and two. And a pitch. And that one upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Pryor. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Runner on the goal. Puts a bunt down. Now the throw to first on the run. That's out number three. And welcome back. Here's the power hitting catcher, Joe Mauer. The pitch. That's in for a strike. And the righty deals. Strike two. And now one and two. The why to kick the pitch. On its way. And that one becomes property of the beast. That fires up the home crowd. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. And now the right fielder, Roberto Clemente. And that one is lifted in the air. Green settles under this one and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. So now here's the pitcher, Randy Johnson. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. That one ripped. That's back there. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And it gets by him. The throw in. He's in there. First pitch swing in. Went up there with the plan to be aggressive. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here. But once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Yeah, now the 1 And misses Whoa, inside. And the pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner stays where he is. Two and one now. And a swing and a miss. Two and two. Cruz on third with two out. 
Got him. Good job at damage control. Top six standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Ryan Roberts. And a pitch. Nope. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. Ball one no Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Clemente pulls that one down. And there's one away. Next to hit, O'Neill Cruz. He's a guy who does it all. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. 0-1 gets a check swing. Appeal to third. And he held back, according to Ricky Holiday. The pitch. That one missing inside. Good eye right there. 3-1 now. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. One down, runner at first. Al Kaline now at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And he dives in safely. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Runner takes off. Line and a base hit into right. Flying around third is Cruz. Cruz with a relay throw. In comes the tying run from first. It's 2-2. Go ahead run on base. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. This guy with light tower power. In the air right field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now at the plate, Johnny Bench. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. And first offering is fouled off at the belt and fires. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience. A oh, outside. that's a strikeout. And that'll do it for the inning. Well, we go bottom six. Now the third baseman, George Brett. The third baseman. Pryor, back to work. Brett. Swung out, belted. Deep. That one way back there. And that one's going to land not so much That'll here, be. but That'll here. Be. He rockets one to right, and they slide in front in the sixth. It's 3 2. Andrew McCutcheon getting ready to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Swung out, belted. Deep. That one went back there, and that one's going to land not so much here, but here. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 4-2.